The Hindu is an Indian daily newspaper, headquartered in Chennai. It was started as a weekly in 1878 and became a daily in 1889. It is one of the Indian newspapers of record and the second most circulated English language newspaper in India, after the Times of India with average qualifying sales of 1.21 million copies as of January to June 2017. The newspaper and other publications in the Hindu group are owned by a family held company, Kasturi and Sons Limited. The newspaper employed over 1,600 workers and annual turnover reached almost $200 million according to data from 2010. Most of the revenue comes from advertising and subscription. The Hindu became, in 1995, the first Indian newspaper to offer an online edition. As of March 2018, The Hindu is published from 21 locations across 11 states, Bengaluru, Chennai, Hyderabad, Tiruvananthapuram, Vijayawada, Kolkata, Mumbai, Coimbatore, Madurai, Noida, Visakhapatnam, Kochi, Mangaluru, Tirushirappalli, Hubli, Mohali, Allahabad, Kojikode, Lucknow, Tirupati, Cuttack and Patna. History The Hindu was founded in Madras on 20 September 1878 as a weekly newspaper, by what was known then as the Triplicane Six consisting of four law students and two teachers, T. T. Rangacharya, P. V. Rangacharya, D. Kasava Rao Pantulu and N. Subha Rao Pantulu, led by G. Subramania Iyer a school teacher from Tanjore district and M. Viraragavikaria, a lecturer at Pake Yappas College. Started in order to support the campaign of Sir T. Muthuswami Iyer for a judgeship at the Madras High Court and to counter the propaganda against him carried out by the Anglo-Indian press, The Hindu was one of the many newspapers of the period established to protest the policies of the British Raj. About 100 copies of the inaugural issue were printed at Srinity Press, Georgetown on 1 rupee and 12 annas of borrowed money. Subramania Iyer became the first editor and Veera Raghavacharya, the first managing director of the newspaper. The paper was initially printed from Srinity Press but later moved to Scottish Press, then to the Hindu Press, Mylapore. Started as a weekly newspaper, the paper became a tri weekly in 1883 and an evening daily in 1889. A single copy of the newspaper was priced at four annas. The officers moved to rented premises at 100 Mount Road on 3 December 1883. The newspaper started printing at its own press there, named, "...the National Press", which was established on borrowed capital as public subscriptions were not forthcoming. The building itself became the Hindus in 1892, after the Maharaja of Visyanagaram, Pusapati Ananda Gajapati Rayu, gave the national press a loan both for the building and to carry out needed expansion. The Hindu was initially liberal in its outlook and is now considered left leaning. Its editorial stances have earned it the nickname, the Mahavishnu of Mount Road. From the new address, 100 Mount Road, which was to remain the Hindu's home till 1939, there issued a quarto size paper with a front page full of advertisements a practice that came to an end only in 1958 when it followed the lead of its idol, the pre Thomson Times London and three back pages also at the service of the advertiser. In between, there were more views than news. After 1887, when the annual session of Indian National Congress was held in Madras, the paper's coverage of national news increased significantly, and led to the paper becoming an evening daily starting 1 April 1889. The partnership between Viraraga Vakaraya and Subramania Iyer was dissolved in October 1898. 
Iyer quit the paper and Viraraga Vakaraya became the sole owner and appointed C. Karunakara Menon as editor. However, the Hindu's adventurousness began to decline in the 1900s and so did its circulation, which was down to 800 copies when the sole proprietor decided to sell out. The purchaser was the Hindu's legal advisor from 1895, S. Kasturi Ranga Iyengar, a politically ambitious lawyer who had migrated from a Kumbakonam village to practice in Korimbatore and from thence to Madras. <laughs> Modern history In the late 1985s, when its ownership passed into the hands of the family's younger members, a change in political leaning was observed. WorldPress.org lists The Hindu as a left-leaning independent newspaper. Joint Managing Director N. Morali said in July 2003, "...it is true that our readers have been complaining that some of our reports are partial and lack objectivity." But it also depends on reader beliefs. N. Ram was appointed on the 27th of June 2003 as its editor in chief with a mandate to improve the structures and other mechanisms to uphold and strengthen quality and objectivity in news reports and opinion pieces. Authorized to restructure the editorial framework and functions in line with the competitive environment." On 3 and 23 September 2003, the Reader's Letters column carried responses from readers saying the editorial was biased. An editorial in August 2003 observed that the newspaper was affected by the editorializing as news reporting virus and expressed a determination to buck the trend, restore the professionally sound lines of demarcation, and strengthen objectivity and factuality in its coverage. In 1987 88, the Hindus' coverage of the Bofors Arms Deal scandal, a series of document backed exclusives, set the terms of the national national political discourse on this subject. The Bofors scandal broke in April 1987 with Swedish radio alleging that bribes had been paid to top Indian political leaders, officials and army officers in return for the Swedish arms manufacturing company winning a hefty contract with the Government of India for the purchase of 155 mm howitzers. During a six-month period, the newspaper published scores of copies of original papers that documented the secret payments, amounting to $50 million, into Swiss bank accounts, the agreements behind the payments, communications relating to the payments and the crisis response, and other material. The investigation was led by a part-time correspondent of the Hindu, Chitra Subramanian, reporting from Geneva, and was supported by Ram in Chennai. The scandal was a major embarrassment to the party in power at the centre, the Indian National Congress, and its leader Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. The paper's editorial accused the Prime Minister of being party to massive fraud and cover up. In 1991, Deputy Editor N. Ravi, Ram's younger brother, replaced G. Kasturi as editor. Nirmala Laxman, Kasturi Srinivasan's granddaughter and the first woman in the company to hold an editorial or managerial role, became joint editor of The Hindu and her sister, Malini Partha Sarathi, executive editor. In 2003, the Jayalalitha government of the state of Tamil Nadu, of which Chennai is the capital, filed cases against The Hindu for breach of privilege of the state legislative body. The move was perceived as a government's assault on freedom of the press. The paper garnered support from the journalistic community. On the 21st of July 2011, Siddharth Varadarajan, the National Bureau Chief of the Hindu, was appointed editor of the Hindu, made effective from the 30th of July 2011, a move that triggered the resignations of three members of the family from their senior editorial positions. N. Ravi resigned as editor, Malini Parthasarathi as executive editor, and Nirmala Laksman as the joint editor. 
a fourth member of the family, N. Morali, announced his retirement on attaining the age of 65 on the 11th of August 2011. They remain on the board of directors. Varadarajan was named by N. Ram, the editor in chief, to succeed him. On the 2nd of April 2013, the Hindu started the Hindu in school with S. Shivakumar as editor. This is a new edition for young readers, to be distributed through schools as part of the Hindus' Newspaper in Education program. It covers the day's important news developments, features, sports, and regional news. On 16 September 2013, the Hindu group launched its Tamil edition with K. Ashikan as editor. On 21 October 2013, changes have been made in editorial as well as business of the Hindu. N. Ravi has taken over as editor in chief of the Hindu and Malini Partha Sarathi as editor of the Hindu. In a consequence, Siddharth Varadarajan has submitted his resignation. N. Ram has become chairman of Kasturi and Sons Limited and publisher of the Hindu and Group Publications, and N. Morali, co-chairman of the company. During the 2015 South Indian floods, for the first time since its founding in 1878, the newspaper did not publish a print edition in Chennai market on the 2nd of December as workers were unable to reach the press building. On the 5th of January 2016, Malini Partha Sarathi, the editor of the newspaper, resigned with immediate effect. It was reported by the media that she resigned her post, citing general dissatisfaction with her performance. However, she continues to be a whole-time director of Casturi and Sons Limited. The newspaper has foreign bureaus in 11 locations: Islamabad, Colombo, Dhaka, Kathmandu, Beijing, Moscow, Paris, Dubai, Washington DC, London, and most recently Addis Ababa. Topic management Over the course of its history the Kasturi Ranga Iyengar family has usually run the Hindu through the presence of family in editorial and business operations as well as on the board. It was headed by G. Kasturi from 1965 to 1991, N. Ravi from 1991 to 2003, and by his brother, N. Ram, from 27 June 2003 to 18 January 2012. As of 2010, there are 12 directors in the board of Kasturi and Sons. Managing directors M. Viraragavakaraya S. Kasturi Ranga Iyenga K. Srinivasan G. Nursimhan N. Ram, 1977 to 2011. K. Balaji, 2011-2012. Rajiv C. Lokan, 2013-present. Topic: Editors. G. Subramania Iyer, 1878 to 1898. C. Karunakara Menon (1898–1905), Kasturi Ranga Iyengar (1905–1923), S. Rangaswamy Iyengar (1923–1926), K. Srinivasan (1926–1928). A. Rangaswamy Iyengar (1928–1934). K. Srinivasan (1934–1959). S. Partha Sarathi (1959–1965). G. Kasturi (1965–1991). N. Ravi (1991–2003). 
N. Ram, 2003 to 2012. Siddharth Varadarajan, 2012–2013. N. Ravi, 2013–2015. Malini Parthasarathi, 2015–2016. Mukund Padmanavan, 2016–2019. Suresh Nambath, 2019–present. Topic. Online presence The Hindu was the first newspaper in India to have a website, launched in 1995. On 15 August 2009, the 130 year old newspaper launched the beta version of its redesigned website at beta.thehindi.com. This was the first redesign of its website since its launch. On 24 June 2010 the beta version of the website went fully live at www.thehindi.com. Reviews <reviews> In 1965, The Times listed The Hindu as one of the world's ten best newspapers. Discussing each of its choices in separate articles, The Times wrote, "...the Hindu takes the general seriousness to lengths of severity published in Madras, it is the only newspaper which in spite of being published only in a provincial capital is regularly and attentively read in Delhi." It is read not only as a distant and authoritative voice on national affairs but as an expression of the most liberal—and least provincial—southern attitudes. Its Delhi Bureau gives it outstanding political and economic dispatches and it carries regular and frequent reports from all state capitals, so giving more news from states, other than its own, than most newspapers in India. It might fairly be described as a national voice with a southern accent. The Hindu can claim to be the most respected paper in India. In 1968, the American Newspaper Publishers Association awarded the Hindu its World Press Achievement Award. An extract from the citation reads, Throughout nearly a century of its publication the Hindu has exerted wide influence not only in Madras but throughout India. Conservative in both tone and appearance, it has wide appeal to the English-speaking segment of the population and wide readership among government officials and business leaders. The Hindu has provided its readers a broad and balanced news coverage, enterprising reporting and a sober and thoughtful comment. It has provided its country a model of journalistic excellence. It has fought for a greater measure of humanity for India and its people and has not confined itself to a narrow chauvinism. Its correspondents stationed in the major capitals of the world furnish the Hindu with worldwide news coverage. For its championing of reason over emotion, for its dedication to principle even in the face of criticism and popular disapproval, for its confidence in the future, it has earned the respect of its community, its country, and the world. Controversy Topic. Bias allegations The Hindu has been accused by some readers and observers of being left-leaning, too supporting of the Chinese and Sri Lankan government, and, not as aggressive in its reporting as during the Bofors scandal. For instance, many advocates for the rights of Sri Lankan Tamils have accused the Hindu of pro-Sinhalese bias. And following opinion pieces published by the former editor of The Hindu, N. Ram, extolling China's governance of Tibet and other perceived slights, many commentators have claimed a cinephilic bias. 
B. Rahman, director of the South Asia Analysis Group said, the Hindus' sympathy for China and its policy in recent years of keeping out of its columns any report or article of a negative nature on China is well known, and that it often placed its columns at the disposal of the Xinhua News Agency without telling its readers that the Xinhua is a mouthpiece of the Chinese government". See also The Hindu Business Line Frontline Magazine the Hindu Group List of newspapers in India List of newspapers in India by readership The Hindu Literary Prize Lit for Life Sportstar <laughs>